On July 27, 2024, at the Chengdu International Sister Cities Youth Music Festival, youths from Canada, Singapore, Malaysia, and the United States gathered at the Xinjin venue to embark on an audiovisual summer adventure. This team is come from Canada, Montreal, and our member of the team are mostly high school students and which the, the age between 12 to 17. This is uh, the first time we, ca we came to Chengdu to participate the Chengdu International Music Festival. I think this festival is acting as a bridge that connects students to uh, who love, very love music and they will join together and to make music together and they will be very joyful. Mon nom c'est Anita et je viens de Montréal, Canada. Donc euh, c'est ma première fois à Chengdu, mais c'est ma troisième fois en Chine. Que ma mère est chinoise. Le chinois, je l'ai appris depuis que je suis vraiment petite, vers euh, 4-5 ans. Donc euh, je, je connais beaucoup sur la culture chinoise. Maintenant je le maîtrise bien. C'est la première fois que je vais sur un bateau comme ça. Donc on a vraiment eu le temps d'expérimenter comment les gens se marchaient autour en, à l'aide du bateau. Avec euh, les lotus à côté, c'était vraiment beau. Et avec, genre c'était vraiment relaxant et tout. Ouais. I've always been interested in this culture and I never had the opportunity to learn much about it so I'm glad I have this opportunity now to visit the country and see it firsthand. I guess it's more beautiful here, like visually, uh, like everything's more organized I'd say and very... It has a traditional feel that Canada has less of, so it's, it's very nice in that sense. This is my first time to come to Chengdu, and this is my first time to come to Chengdu. It's very nice, and it's very nice. The landscape is also very beautiful. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our Baldwin Archaeological Site Station. This culture, since it was 4,500 years ago, in here we found in Chengdu place the first farming civilization, and in Chengdu place the first rice civilization. Actuellement, on est dans le musée de Bowden et on peut voir comme plusieurs. Euh, on peut voir le time lapse de comment comment tout a été créé. Que là, on est dans un des anciens villages et on peut voir qu'il y a plusieurs poteries comme ici et ça montre euh, l'évolution des de l'agriculture ici, je trouve. I've always been interested in uh, Chinese history as a whole, and uh, especially like ancient Chinese history. And so learning about it was really interesting, you know, the culture and how they built their civilization. And it's, it's really offered some insight into it. I really find their choices of instruments very interesting, seeing what they use and how they do it. 本来我自己的英语不是很好，但是我可以通过音乐这个东西，就是好像我跟他们有国界了，然后我们会用音乐去沟通掉。Different uh, countries have different cultural backgrounds, uh, different takes on music. I really think that cultural exchange is really important. For example, uh, the Beatles actually on some some of their albums introduce lots of Indian music on uh, their albums, and I found that was like a really interesting. A part of their sound. I believe that like in the West and Canada there's lots of different kinds of musics uh, that could be uh, shown to China and vice versa. That like China has a lot to offer uh, to Canada as well. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Victor. And my name is Corey, and back there on the drums is my brother Jerry. And we are from MuseArt Montreal. J'en fais depuis trois ans avec ma prof. Et je vais aussi faire une autre performance avec un ami 
qui s'appelle euh, Kissen et moi je fais la peinture chinoise traditionnelle.我们这次马来西亚的团队来到成都参加这个音乐周一共有八个人带了我们马来西亚的传统的马来民族的舞蹈一是大概是因为马来的公主呃来到那个村庄然后去结识好像不同的朋友可以看到中国泰国美国等等